is the fact that we could be kind of a step ahead of the audience and keep the f confusion going right until the end. And uh, it's kind of rare in films nowadays, you know, to be on top of an audience, to be ahead of an audience. Uh, you know, everybody, movie-going audiences, kids, they're so savvy now to what's happening in films. They're, they're, they can't intellectually describe what's happening, but they know it, if it's false or if it's true or whatnot, you know. So I think we're... Uh, what I've been hearing so far is that we're ahead of the audience, which is always great. Submerge myself in cold uh, ice cold baths and stuff because I knew Berlin was very very cold, and shivery. So I thought I'll build up my body's defence by trying to be in cold baths as long as I can take it. You know, and it stood, it stood me in good stead because there was a flu virus going around Berlin at the time. A lot of the crew were dropping off like flies, and. Uh, some of us stayed healthy, you know, and I attribute that to that submersion in ice water. Yeah, yeah, we did some improv stuff. So like, he'd go, John, I go, Liam, we have to do this real quick. We have to. I said, okay, well, where's the camera? What do you, what do I have to do? Jump out of the van and come around the corner. And, you know, look here, there's lots of real Berlin people, they're not extras. It's like, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> sure, <laughs> we can do that. Mother Nature in Berlin play a huge character in, in the movie, as you, as you saw. It's very, very important. You couldn't do it in the studio, you know. You, you, you do know you're in streets, very dubious streets too in Berlin. You don't know what's around the corner, you know. And a set can't quite create that, you know. I met you all, oh God, 25 years ago or something. And the thing I always remember about him, and I've heard horror stories about him before and since, is I went up for a part in one of the movies he was casting, and he came in to his office an hour late. I'm sitting there sweating, bullets, and he was. Uh, he brought me into his office. He sat behind his desk. I sat in the front. And he kind of looked at me. He said, "You're so not right for this." And he could have kicked me out like that, but he stayed talking to me for like an hour. I've never forgotten that. 